Okay guys, I'm gonna talk about the release of the Valkyrie DIY 3D printer project. There's a public pre-release out on GitHub now. You can start building the machine. We're releasing this in stages. So you can build this just as any other Core XY DIY 3D printer out there. Starting at $1300. And then you can upgrade to stage one and then to the final stage, which is all bells and whistles, water cooling, heated chamber, dry box. Let's talk about the stages. Let's talk about the build materials. Here you can see stage zero, as I call it, the bare bone printer, $1,300 budget, $1,550 for Misumi frame and Ser linear guides. The current pre-release includes stage one, which is priced at about $1,700 on the budget end and $1,940 on the premium end. The only thing not included in stage one, which will be added to this, is water cooling hardware and also heater for the chamber. For this stage we recommend to stay under 80 celsius in the chamber due to some components that limits our chamber temperature. The belts are good for 135. The insulation panels themselves going with PIR are rated for 120. So 120 with this insulation is what's maximum for this build but then you need to consider changing some components in the chamber. So let's see what $1,300 would get you. If you build this first, then you can upgrade it later. It has almost endless possibilities, this machine. So this is 100% engineered from the bottom up. Development has been going on for over a year. There's been over 3000 hours going into this in research, design, prototyping, huge amount of testing, redesigning, more prototyping and building. And now it's ready to release to the community. And you can of course support the project by the links in the description. First, let's have a look at the frame. This frame is built on 2040 aluminum extrusions, all T-slots, five linear guides, three on the Z-axis, and two on the y-axis all mgn12 with an h block drawings for this on github and if you miss anything let me know the heart of this machine is the maxwell coupling this is a kinematic coupling for lifting the bed the bed will always stay in position and you will have true bed leveling no more manual bed leveling this is all parametric, so if you want to resize this, you can do it in the cobble just by changing your bed size and then the frame will adjust. Then we have the AB system. We inverted the system. There's only two toothed idlers. So we have the front one over here and the front one over there being toothed, running on the toothed side of the belt. All the other idlers, they are gates idler types with good bearings. And you run the backside of the belt around the smooth idler. This means less friction, less resonance. We have a carbon tube on the x-axis for high acceleration and fast printing. We're also using the MGN9 here on the x-axis. One of the requirements was to have easy belt tensioning. Tensioning the A motor and tensioning the B motor all happens on the outside of the frame. This system will actually, when you see the enclosure, you will see that the motors are on the outside of the chamber. The pulleys are inside, the belts are inside, but the motors are on the outside with the pocket here. And here you can see the C system. All of the C system related to the Maxwell coupling. The bed resting on ball joints on the Z lifters. We have reduction on the Z gear, so 41, giving the best possible resolution on the Z axis. Also easy access, easy tensioning system. So we have the Z system, the A and B system and the frame. And then you have your AC components and your DC components. The controllers and uh, all the DC stuff on the back of the printer. And we place all of the AC stuff under. You can have the SSRs and the power supply under the kinematics. Recommended build volume is 310 by 310 by 300 on the Z. As a hot end on the bare bone stage zero, no water cooling. We recommend the Dragon or the Mosquito. You can go with an inductive probe or the BL touch. So you can build this, you can add a dry box. We can have a look at the dry box. This is basically a drawer which pulls out inside the dry box. You can add a heater, there's a PTC heater, a fan, there's desiccant containers, and we have a spool holder. You can add insulation to the dry box. 
This spool carousel is self-centering, self-locking. You can also add humidity control. You can add temperature control to this dry box. For the dry box, you need the bottom plate. So adding this bottom plate will mean you will isolate all the AC components from the upper kinematics and also from the heated chamber if you elect to build the heated chamber. And then you can add your enclosure. The enclosure consists of PIR insulation panels. You should be able to get this worldwide. They come in different thickness. We recommend a minimum of 10 millimeter thickness for the insulation being PIR. Higher thermal conductivity means you need thicker insulation. The outer panels, we recommend ACM. And then for the window, we recommend polycarbonate inside and outside, double glazed, properly sealed. Building this enclosure the right way, all the panels will come off so you can service and maintenance the machine without any issues. You can easily take off the rear pocket so you can access your kinematics and do belt tensioning or any service back here. Also note that we made an upswing door, meaning that door will be out of the way if you want to print low TG material like PTG or PLA or something, then you would like to have the door open and it's easy to service everything, easy to change the nozzle and whatnot. Just lifting the door, it's a very simple mechanism. Just four arms and a couple of bearings and a rod and you print the rest of the part. It's also easy to access your electronics on the backside of the machine. To access stuff under the printer, you can take off your lower panels and you can access the Z drives, the high voltage stuff. You can take the whole draw out and then you can access everything under the machine. As you can see under the machine, the motors of the Z drive is also outside the heated chamber. Note that the stepper motor for the extruder is still inside. That one is rated for 120 Celsius. The extruder itself, the LGX, is rated for 90 Celsius. Going with a heat chamber, you cannot use the BL touch. Final stage, you can add water cooling. We will release the water cooling bill of materials when we are ready with the testing, making sure everything is as good as it gets. You can start with the bare bone machine and then bootleg up to stage one and final stage. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Any questions, get in touch on Discord or Facebook. Follow the project, links in the description down below. If you have any ideas on how to move on, how to make this project better, let us know in the comments down below. I hope this is not too intimidating for you. Have a good one and I'll see you guys later.